us at our shower. There are many brands. This one was a banner. Don't do Welcome back to Comfy Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos Welcome when they're released for you. Well, I got a shower valve, and this is a banner faucet, but it leaks from here every time all of a sudden it's not leaking. There it is. You see the drip there? It just kind of drips from there every time. That's cool that it, that it leaks out here. At least there's that. But I don't want to leave it too long because then it can just get worse and it can become really difficult to work out or fix. And sometimes you can just clean these and re uh what's there. So you can do that. In order to do that, we'll need to turn off the water to the house. So I'm going to do that pretty quickly. Uh, this has a little Allen key that we need to get in there and to remove the handle right in here. Not sure what size it is. That one seems too big. That's the nice thing about having a Alan Key said is you can get in a different size going back to the what I had last time. And that's too small. There's actually a special tool for removing this portion, so I'll probably need to grab that special tool. There's the trim, it has two screws. Some valves will have a water shut off inside, some don't. I don't think this one does. I'm going to just double check. Take a peek. There we go. There's the trim. And nope. Okay, but I need that teeth deal. Found a special tool, and I'll need to turn off the water. And what's cool is this has the correct size Allen key on it. And it's a handy tool for single handle faucets, single handle faucet removal tool. Okay, so I need to turn off the house water. This turns off the hot and cold water as the cold feed. Okay, so now we'll just need to verify that the water's off, opening both sides. Got just a little tiny bit of pressure. And I'm actually gonna open something a little lower, like this. That way, anything in there comes out a little bit lower. Okay, so now we've got our faucet removal tool. You can kind of hear the stuff coming from here. I'm just going to take this up and over and out of my way. And 
Now we're going to use the special tool here, and it just turns in like so. Turns out. Now I'm going to try to repair this one, hopefully clean it out, put it back together. You can get a special kit for this to rebuild it, I'm gonna, but I'm going to try to repair it, re-lube it, we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's that. And we'll take this out with a strap wrench just by hand. There we go. Okay. And now we should be able to pull it on out. Okay. There we go. And you can get rebuilt kits for these. Again, I'm going to try to clean this one up. It's got a slot on one side here where the, the ball goes in. And I'll take this, clean it out, and then we'll try to lube it up. And we'll see. Okay. And it's just got an O-ring seal. You may be able to even flip that O-ring seal over. So. So here's the seat. And it's got like calcium buildup here. Let's see, we're cleaning all this off. Well, the water's off, so that makes that tricky, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, just got some paper here. Clean this up real good. And it's more than likely on the, the O ring itself that's actually causing our problem. But I can buy a new kit for this. It shouldn't be too expensive as well. I'll see if I can just fix it up without without spending anything really. Um, I may need like a green scrubber pad or something to clean this off. And if I needed to, I could take it from the from the faucet. But just looking here, here's our deal here. Clean this up. And then we'll lube that up real good. And I'll lube the moving parts. And this isn't drinking water or anything, it's just, you know, this deal. We'll see if we can lube it up and got some gloves here. We'll see if that's going to work for us or not. Time will tell. And there we go. Just a little deal here. Just going to put a little lube on both sides. Just deal. Do this side first. This is a pretty common deal. You know, this has a notch in it as well, so it can pretty much only go in one way. And I probably should have just picked up a rebuild kit, but we'll see if this gets the job done. So things cleaned up here. You can see a little notch in the side there so this may or may not work out. I'll go ahead and press this deal into place. I'll move this all the way around. Uh -oh. There we go. Reseat the ball here. Okay. And I'm going to lube the back of the ball, put all the surfaces that it moves around on get kind of lubed. Okay. And now, this the ball has a groove in it, so just lining up that groove. Okay, that's all the way in. Then the seal here has a groove in it, and we'll line up that groove, press that all the way in. 
Now it's in. Now it operates nice and easy. Now we turn our collar on. See on the bottom of this where it's definitely got some calcium deposits just from it leaking over time. It's one of those things that is nice that it leaked inside. If it's gonna leak, you know, leak inside, but <laughs> okay. So now we've got the threaded in portion that goes in. Gonna make sure that the grooves are out. So and that allows us to use the special tool to turn it in. And just make sure we're not cross threaded. Confusing about what size the deal is. Okay, we're in. It's a little, a little hard to turn. That's okay. We'll work the deal in. That's about as tight as I want to go because shouldn't need it to be too tight just to do its job. So I'm going to open the shower a little bit. I'm going to reset this back down and get rid of my stuff here. I'll close this up and I'll go turn the water on and I'll leave this one open while I turn the water on. Go turn the water on outside and get the job done. Turn the back water back on. Oop, to do it a little slower, but it's done. Take my 
deal. Clean up the lube in there. And it looks like we've successfully fixed our leak. Yay! No more leak, I just got some lube in there, which won't hurt anything, that's fine. At least it's not leaking now. All right, now we can reinsert the deal and clean this up a little, make sure there's no lube on there. Looks like we... Oh, Kung Fu sneeze. Excuse me. All right. So now we can put our trim plate back on. And for this model, we actually didn't need to take our trim plate off. So it's good to know for the future. We actually don't have to bother taking that off. It's a good design. I like it. Very simple. Rebuild kits are pretty inexpensive too, so you know if you're gonna go through the trouble, it may just be better to get the rebuild kit. I'll try to put a link in the deal below. It's a single handle faucet rebuild kit. But it's nice to be able to fix it without having to buy anything. I'm happy about that. And our water turns off, and so that's good too. <laughs> that's what we want. Okay, trim kit's back on. Don't need to over tighten it, just you know, tight enough. Don't have to super cinch it down or anything. And then now this tool is cool because it's got the correct size Allen key. That makes it much easier. So I'll try to put a link uh, for this tool as well. Um, again, I'm going to turn the water on and just verify again that we're not leaking. And it's good to catch these things early because you've got actually a better chance of, of fixing it if you do catch it early. We're all fixed there. I'm happy with that. Didn't even have to spend anything. So insert the, the steel back on. And then sometimes you got to kind of adjust it and open it to get to it. There it is. Tighten our handle back on and we're good to go. Nice and smooth. No more leak. Good to go. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now. And this sometimes will trap just a little bit of water. We're good to go. Alright. Thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance. In case Over you need now. another size here, it's a 1 8 hex head. So, done deal. Or 1 8 Allen key. Alright. And it's nice to have one of these multi tools here. Hopefully, I'll put those in the description as well. You can have all the things you need to get the job done. Yay. Done deal. Definitely had some crazy stuff happen in the past few days and going to be trying to share some of those videos with you, starting with the one I shared the other day, which was about how my best tips on unclogging air conditioner condensate lines and the preventative maintenance you can do to prevent things. But in that video, I shared my five plus best tips about, con you know, dealing with condensate drain clogs with from air conditioning and heading those things off. Hope you like this video, I'm trying to share some of my best tips. Now these are steps that you can take to head things off. You know, preventative maintenance always puts the maintenance on your schedule and, and uh, by clearing these lines ahead of time, right ahead of the, the cooling season, uh, can help prevent a lot of these things from happening. Obviously you can't prevent everything, but if you head off the majority of it, it's gonna save you a lot of time and effort later on and a lot of energy later on. That way you're not getting called off of everything else. 
you know, if you can do it ahead of time, preventative maintenance puts things on your schedule. Anyway, that's what Kung Fu Maintenance is all about, making go. life easier for you and sparing you as many headaches as I possibly can. Thanks for watching, and I hope you subscribe. I hope you like the video. These past few days have been some crazy days. Hey, and I hope to be bringing you more videos uh, that happen these days. I had a compressor burnout, and then I had a unit that needed the disconnect changed out. So hopefully going to be showing you those videos and a little bit more how-to, or a lot more how-to, and just sharing the experiences with you in the days to come. Thanks for watching. Right, everything. Below. You'll find links to the tools and s some of the parts and tools and, and items used in the videos to help keep things running good and maintain things how they should be. It looks like it's internal. Walking through this world.